everybody, welcome to King's Table. Today we are going to make guacamole barbecue chicken sandwich, okay? First of all, if you're new here, please subscribe to our channel and support us. Support what we are doing if you really enjoy. Share our video and uh, let's dive into to our recipe today, yeah? I've got about two avocados here and a lemon and a tomato and uh, one onion and a bit of parsley and a chili. This one is really um, spicy, it's really hot. I took a choice of taking this to a bit more a spicier level because the sandwich you're going to do, it's uh, going to be obviously with avocado and the barbecue chicken. So you need a little bit of heat in there you to have some fun right so before we do our guacamole i want to show you how am i going to do my chicken in here i've got some chicken and um, it's not chicken thigh but this is the part over the chicken thigh so you've got only one bone in here so if you debone this, yeah, you've got bone-free chicken, but with um, the skin. That's what it makes all the fun. So I'm going to debone this. I'll catch you back. As you could see, I've deboned my uh, chicken, and this is just the flesh and the skin. So let's get to the work. I've got a bit of olive oil. I would say about. A tablespoon of olive oil should be fine. So we've got about a tablespoon of olive oil in here and to marinate you need a bit of chili powder and turmeric powder and I've got a good mix here for uh, the barbecue that I could use it as a rub. Uh, unfortunately I cannot suggest that because I don't know if you could buy that online or something like that so and I've got about two teaspoons of salt and a little bit of white pepper powder and just a pinch of the musket nut yeah and please use your hand and give it a good mix. Not just a good mix, but uh, the chicken needs a good massage. So once you have mixed it good, it's supposed to be, look something like this. So I've got about four pieces in here. So you lay each and every piece is just like this, flat, skin upright, one another, and you just put it inside the oven. And my oven is already preheated with about 200 degrees and uh, it's really warm and good to go. And I'm just going to dump this inside the oven. So for about 15 to 20 minutes. And meanwhile, it's getting ready. Let's get to the guacamole and the sandwich, yeah? See you in a jiffy. So let's get to do our avocado. I'm a bit tired today because we've got our holidays and uh, I'm not a bit satisfied with the holidays this year because we should have been somewhere else than to be here at home because of corona everything is just messed up but we've got some good food going on for us to be really happy for those of you who don't know how to open an avocado so you just go through the skin all around and you give it a good twist and there you go yeah, that's how you do this. And I'm going to split this also open and uh, get it all inside the bowl here. Just like this, scooping it out and make sure that you don't leave any of those good things on the skin. That's how clean it's supposed to be, yeah? Two avocados in here. Clean, man, clean, look at this. That's how clean it's supposed to be. Those are a few 
who've got no clue how to buy an avocado. If you go to the supermarket and take an avocado in your hand and try to squeeze it, not squeeze it, just try to give a bit of squeeze, it has to be squishy, okay? So if that's squishy, it means it's good to go in the pan. So I'm taking about half a lemon. Be careful not to get the seeds inside there. That should be good. And not too much of pulp in there, okay? Just the juice, yeah? So I've got the lemon in here and take your fork and just mash it down. I've got my uh, mashed avocado and roughly chopped parsley and my onion here and the tomato. And this is going to be the bomb. Every time you get a seed, it's going to be like an explosion in your mouth. So you need to be really careful how much you use it and how much you can take. We love not too much spice in our food, okay? But we love it spicy, which means you have to be able to control the heat from uh, the chili or the spices you're using. So, I'm gonna give it a good mix. Okay, this is the time when you add a bit of salt. About a teaspoon of salt, that should be fine. There is no way that you could say that there is a better way for me to enjoy my guacamole and a nacho except to have something like this. So let's check out if the, if the chicken is already done. It's about 15 minutes in and uh, if the chicken is done, I'll catch you in the kitchen. Until then, stay tuned. When you do a sandwich, it's really important that you get your things ready here easy. And I've got a knob of butter and my pan is uh, um, good and hot and I'm just going to let the butter melt. And I've got my sandwich bread here. I've got my guacamole here, barbecue sauce here and my chicken is ready and I'm going to pull it out. Make sure you have enough place to put the hot tub somewhere. See this? That's how you do a perfect chicken for a chicken sandwich. And my butter is done. So let's start with the sandwich. Yeah? Put it upside down, let it get toasted. So my wonderful wife who is holding the camera, um, she just wants to go out with our friend and uh, she wants to take her sandwich with her. So I'm just going to pack it already. It's a too little space here. It's, it's, it's really very small. And we still try to manage ourselves in here. And it's going to be over very soon. 
we had this apartment for just one person now we are two we're married and we're happy but it's too small for us we will be checking out really very soon and i promise you this i can live with a small bedroom like this but i cannot live with a small kitchen like this this is just horrible for me and i think the bread is good and toasted really nice look at that so it's supposed to be okay uh, let's go on so i'm gonna put a little bit of cocktail sauce i think that should be good and uh, i've just cut my salad like this So, the bed of salad is good. Then, go on with a little bit of tomato. So here comes the good part they have all been waiting for so long. Look how juicy and how tender this thing is. I'm just gonna have to slice this up. You hear that? It's so crispy. So crispy, you hear that? I wish you could all smell that. It smells good. There's nothing for you here, Diesel. I need to get out. So, I would love to put my guacamole up there but I just want to get my cheese also melted. So I'm going to put my cheese first, that it could melt. I've got some cheddar cheese. I'm just going to So the layer of cheese is done. Now the guacamole. Be generous, okay? It's for your loved one and just be generous. This guy is just pushing me away. That's what I call a sandwich. You see that? You see that? That's what I call a sandwich. I, I'm just going to pack it, wrap it up in this aluminum foil because uh, she's got to go. I've got to make my own sandwich. It's gonna be a good day. We are not happy with our holiday. But still, we are trying to make as much as colorful as possible. And uh, this is what you call, my friends, a bomb.